Hi, I'm Hermione. We're at Longley Organic Farm and today I'm going to show you the process of taking a soil sample. Let's get started. So, first, here's what you'll need in your kit. We've got a bucket, a sampling tube, a pine off cut for beating the sampling tube into the ground, a butter knife with which to remove your sample, We've got a tarp where that sample will be laid out and reduced and then a plastic bag and marker so we can get that sample safely in a bag and labelled up. Now another thing you just might need is a saw. In the case of your uh, sampling tube getting damaged, perhaps by a rock, um, you can then cut that off here at the marker and continue using it for more samples. So we'll now move to the field and run through the process. So this is our first sample zone. Um, this area has all been used for herb beds for several years now. It's all a similar kind of soil and it's had similar treatment with composts and fertilizers added over the years. So I can call this area one zone and I'll be naming this area old herb beds so that there's no confusion between this sample and other samples we take in other areas. Now I've measured this area up, it's 7 metres by 6 metres, which makes 42 square metres and in an area of this size we'll take 8 samples. Um, I'll be choosing where to take those samples at random so we've got parts from all over the area. Now let's take our first sample. Okay, we're now ready to take our first sample. Now you always want to take your samples to 150 millimetres depth. These lines are 50 millimetres apart, so make sure that you take your sample up to the third line. Now I'll just bang my sampling tube into the ground like so, that's up to one line, two lines, and now that third line is level to the ground, so we've got to 150 mils depth. I'll now take that out carefully and just marking that spot just so I can double check as it comes out that yeah we were up to the third line and I'll now remove my sample with the butter knife into the bucket. If you're finding that it's not coming out easily what you can do is grab your bit of wood and just knock it against that and that should get it all out fine. So I'll now repeat that process in seven more spots within this sample zone and we'll be on our way. So each time you add a sample to the bucket you just want to give that a quick stir, make sure it's all mixed through together. I'll now show you the process of reducing the soil you've collected down to your final sample of approximately two to three cups worth of soil. Now you may have more or less soil in your bucket depending on how many samples you've taken and the size of your sample zone, but either way we need to reduce it all down to approximately three cupfuls. So first you tip your collected soil out onto your tarp and just smooth that down to about a one to two centimetre thick layer. At this point you can remove stones or twigs. Now you make a cross mark through the middle of that sample and discard opposite triangles like so. We'll then mix what's left again and repeat that same process. If need be. Discard opposite triangles again until you've reduced your sample down to approximately three cupfuls. That then goes into your Ziploc bag and you make sure you date that and label it with the name of your zone. So you need to decide what are different sample zones and what can be treated as the same sample zone. Now that depends on three things, on the kind of soil you've got, um, the way it's been treated in the past and what your intended use for the area is in the future. 
for example, here we've got our raspberry growing area. Um, this area has a similar soil to the greenhouse over here, but the two areas have received different treatment and they're used for different purposes. So we're calling them two different sample zones. Okay, so I'll just use the mattock to peel back the weeds from this area, just to peel that top layer away so we can find some bare soil to take a sample from. Okay, now I'll get my sampling pipe and just keep an eye on that third line which makes 150 mils. The soil is more compact. This soil is more compact, so it's just taking a bit more to get it down there, but we're nearly there. Okay, the line is level with the soil, so we're there. Now I'll just pull that out once again, the same way. Got my finger there to double check. Yes, we're at 150 mils. So we'll just remove our sample with the knife and where it may get a little stuck in there you can just take the piece of wood and knock it like that and you'll get your sample out that way <laughs> 